welcome back to my channel this is Maricel again and as you can see guys I'm wearing jacket because this is I think this is the second day of fall here and ang lamig <laughs> lamig na all right so in today's video guys I'm gonna share with you what is RFE or request for evidence and the most common reasons of RFE. Are you ready? So let's do this. So what is an RFE? A request for evidence or RFE is when the USCIS requires more information or evidence before they can proceed any further with your case. There are many reasons one may receive an RFE, even if their visa petition was seemingly solely rock. Oftentimes, they can be stressful. Requests for evidence or RFE from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or USCIS can be frustrating and even scary. But don't panic. Whatever you do, don't ignore an RFE unless you want a denial. All right, so I have prepared a list of RFE and causes. I'm gonna share with you my screen so that it's easier for you to understand and refer to as well. So here are the lists of RFEs and causes. So this is the requested evidence in this column and the causes. So the first on the list is the long form birth certificate. So this is the requested evidence, long form birth certificate. So what are the costs or causes? short form birth certificate provided instead. So what's the difference between the two? So a long form birth certificate is a copy of the actual birth certificate on file with the locality where the birth took place. And the short form birth certificate is a notarized document that states that the long form certificate exists and is on file. So basically, only the long form birth certificate is accepted by the USCIS. Okay. Now the next one is the tax returns. So the causes are ability to financially support alien in question. So your ability to support is in question. Not provided in the petition or the tax returns are not provided in the petition. So those are the causes. So what is a tax return so a tax return is a form you file or your sponsors each year with the irs that gives your adjusted gross income expenses and other financial information so it is the form 1040 the u.s individual income tax return so that's also uh, important to be submitted otherwise you'll get an rfe Next is the proof you are not required to file taxes. So, same cost, inability to financially support alien in question, not provided in the petition. So, if you could not provide a tax return because you are eligible not to file a tax, then you should provide a proof that you are not required to file taxes. So, without this, then you will get an RFE. Okay, so what are what are the reasons not to file taxes? So inability to obtain records, example, or death or serious illness, incapacitation or an avoidable absence of the taxpayer or a member of the taxpayer's immediate family. Any other reason that establishes your used all ordinary business care and prudence to meet your federal tax obligations but were nevertheless unable to do so. So how can you prove that you are not required to file taxes? So, I, so an IRS verification of non-filing letter provides proof that an IRS has no record of a filed form 1040 for the year you requested. Non-tax filers can request an IRS verification of non-filing of their tax return of the year free of charge from the IRS either online or with a paper form. So you can obtain this proof from the IRS. 
okay so they will give you a form on this and that's the one that you need to submit if indeed you are not required to file taxes you need to supply proof the next is uh the w2 and pay stub so what are the causes so ability to finan financially support alien is in question and not provided in the petition so if you haven't submitted w2 or pay stubs then could be that you will get an rfa next is marriage broker disclosures so this is required by the Im imbra or we call it uh international marriage broker regulation act so what is a marriage broker disclosure so if a couple met through broker this must be disclosed to the u.s citizenship and immigration services and the imbra requires the petitioner to disclose to usas that he or she met his or her fiancé to i through i through an imb so immigration broker uh like us we haven't met or we did not meet through imbra so if you meet through an imb you need a marriage broker disclosure so the uss usis would require it if ever you could not provide this during your filing next is proof the site you met you met on isn't a marriage broker so if you met not on a marriage broker then still you need to provide proof especially during the filing of your i129f so that initial filing for your petition need to provide proof where you met if you met on facebook then you have to provide conversation and a screenshot of your conversation there email or if you met somewhere in a dating site so you have to provide sites uh, proof next is proof of assets so what what are the causes original assets provided are weak Original assets provided aren't liquid enough. Ability to financially support alien in question. So, if it's not provided or if it's provided but your ability to support is in question, then you'd be asked to provide more proof or you need to provide proof of your assets. So, as per my tracking here or research, the required annual income levels for k1 applicants k1 visa applicants change periodically so how much money do i need to make to sponsor all right so i have prepared a list of rfe and causes i'm gonna share with you my screen so that it's easier for you to understand and refer to as well so here are the lists of RFEs and causes. So this is the requested evidence in this column and the causes. So the first on the list is the long form birth certificate. So this is the requested evidence, long form birth certificate. So what are the costs or causes? Short form birth certificate provided instead. So what's the difference between the two? So, a long-form birth certificate is a copy of the actual birth certificate on file with the locality where the birth took place. And the short-form birth certificate is a notarized document that states that the long-form certificate exists and is on file. So, basically, only the long-form birth certificate is accepted by the USCIS. Okay? Okay. Now, the next one is the tax returns. So, the causes are ability to financially support alien in question. So, your ability to support is in question. Not provided in the petition or the tax returns are not provided in the petition. So, those are the causes. So, what is a tax return? 
So a tax return is a form you file or your sponsors each year with the IRS that gives your adjusted gross income, expenses, and other financial information. So it is the form 1040, the U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. So that's also uh, important to be submitted. Otherwise, you'll get an RFE. Next is the proof you are not required to file taxes. So, same cost, inability to financially support alien in question, not provided in the petition. So, if you could not provide a tax return because you are eligible not to file a tax, then you should provide a proof that you are not required to file taxes. So, without this, then you will get an RFA. Okay, so what are what are the reasons not to file taxes? So, inability to obtain records, example, or death or serious illness, incapacitation or an avoidable absence of the taxpayer or a member of the taxpayer's immediate family. Any other reason that establishes your used all ordinary business care and prudence to meet your federal tax obligations but were nevertheless unable to do so. So, how can you prove that you are not required to file taxes? So, I, so an IRS verification of non-filing letter provides proof that an IRS has no record of a filed Form 1040 for the year you requested. Non-tax filers can request an IRS verification of non-filing of their tax return of the year free of charge from the IRS either online or with a paper form. So you can obtain this proof from the IRS. Okay, so they will give you a form on this and that's the one that you need to submit if indeed you are not required to file taxes. You need to supply proof. The next is uh, the W2 and pay stubs. So, what are the costs? So, ability to financially support alien is in question and not provided in the petition. So, if you haven't submitted W-2 or pay stubs, then could be that you will get an RFA. Next is marriage broker disclosures. So, this is required by the IMBRA or we call it uh, International Marriage Broker Regulation Act. So what is a marriage broker disclosure? So if a couple met through broker, this must be disclosed to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. And the IMBRA requires the petitioner to disclose to USAS that he or she met his or her fiancé through, I, through an IMB. So, immigration broker. Uh, like us, we haven't met or we did not meet through IMBRA. So, if you meet through an IMB, you need a marriage broker disclosure. So, the USS, USIS would require it for an immigrant this year, 2022. So, I, as I can see here, you must meet certain income requirements to provide a, to become a sponsor. So, the most common minimum financial requirement is an annual income of $22,000. And this figure is calculated to be at least 125% above the federal poverty level based on the ASP. Okay, so... This is important that you can provide proof that you can financially support your uh, to your uh, immigrant to the immigrant you are petitioning. So yep. So the next one is new check or the check payment that you provide. So make sure that check is signed because if it's not signed you will surely get an rfe check made out to the wrong agency so the payee name is incorrect 
check was for an incorrect amount yeah if it's not the right amount or exact amount and check was post dated so what is a post dated check so it's check that is dated in the future or for the future so that's a post dated check so it's not accepted or you will get an rfe with that next is proof of meeting so what are the causes original proof sent was weak so not enough and no proof originally sent or you did not send any proof that you meet or you met your uh, fiance or your sponsor so you could have a proof of meeting RFE next is copies of your passport so yep all pages uh, even empty or pages not provided so you could have an RFE if you will not provide a uh, copy of your passport divorce degrees so causes could be not provided for all marriages okay and copies of all pages not originally provided official stamp missing so the, the stamp must be present on your divorce decree okay so next is translations so the cost is english translation of the documents like birth certificates divorce decrees etc so again it has to be translated to english if ever you are you know from the other countries and your documents are not translated in english it should be translated there should have a translation okay otherwise you'll get an rfm good thing good thing to us filipinos because our documents are all translated in english so we don't have to worry about this next is vaccination records so not originally provided medical exam results so this is after your medical exam you'll get a vaccination report or vaccination form so it has to be provided or submitted otherwise you'll get again an rfe resubmit forms so boxes unchecked filled incomplete or incorrectly filled out yes this is very important especially when filling out forms some of the uh, boxes must be checked if it's not applicable write in a okay because this could be a reason as well that you'll get an rfe and the last one is criminal record so the applicant did not disclose crime so I, again you have to say or fill out forms correctly and you should be honest no hiding because you cannot hide <laughs> you cannot really hide in the uh, uscis and not originally provided so that's it i think those are the most common causes and the list of rf is based on my research so it is very important that you respond to the request for evidence and provide as much of the requested evidence as possible by the deadline indicated on the notice if your rfe requests more than one document you have to send everything together in one response packet if you don't meet the deadline uscis will make a decision based on the information and documents if already has and that often means your application will be denied yes that is really true so again the best way to handle uscis request for evidence is to avoid getting one in the first place okay even though an rfe does not necessarily mean that your application will be denied it will always result in additional delays and you don't want that okay so in most but not all cases rfes can be avoided with a thoroughly prepared application so have it reviewed if you are doing it yourself have it reviewed triple times and if you are using an agency it's better but 
you know, it's an additional expenses too. So just do some research and make sure that, that everything is filed or compiled on that same packet before submitting. All right, so I hope that you found this guide useful. Thank you so much. Good luck on your journey and see you on my next videos. Bye.